Our next presentation will be held by two individuals. Firstly, uh, by Fleming Quist, who is a head of section in the Labor Department at the Ministry of Mineral Resources and Labor at the Government of Greenland. He has a <coughs> master's degree in public administration from the University of Greenland and has worked with workforce administration at various municipalities and at the government as well. After Fleming, the presentation will continue by uh, will be continued by Hans Hinrichsen, who was born in Denmark and have a background in technical installation engineering and uh, and working for consulting engineering companies five years in Denmark before moving to Greenland in 1989. He has now more than 25 years of experience with education in Greenland as a teacher manager and now general manager at the Greenland School of Minerals and Petroleum. So first I would like to welcome Fleming on the stage. Fleming. Yeah, thank you. It's an honor to be here together with you and representing Greenland. Greenland have a, a great work workforce and yeah, actually, the Greenland economy goes so well that it's, uh, the workforce is un under pressure. <coughs> it's diff difficult to find a, a free workforce. And now, to make it easier, we have, to, uh, we, we have uh, now about 600 young people. Uh, that's, we try to... Uh, Educate to the mining business so the, the future jobs in the mining job uh, business can be uh, done by local workforce. <coughs> and the local workforce, we, we have a school that uh, Hans will talk about later, uh, just after me. That's, uh, it's very important that we try to develop workforce so it can be used by your companies in the future because we have had several uh, mineral activities in the, in the past, but when the uh, uh, mineral activity stops, uh, people uh, forget how to work in a mineral business. So we have a new generation educated now. So we hope you can uh, support your companies uh, whenever you come to Greenland. And it's uh, easy to get uh, contact with the local workforce. We have a homepage called Suli.dl. That's uh, if you make an announcement there, so it will reach uh, uh, 17 cities in Greenland and uh, uh, all the job centers in Greenland. So it's a kind of one-way uh, step to the workforce in Greenland. And as Peter told, it's easy. Uh, Easy to get uh, contact with the uh, admis uh, public administration uh, as uh, uh, we use the SUDIGL for uh, workforce and also Peter told us about the company registrations that I will not use my, your time for. And if you know, if we not have a green energy workforce, there's possibility to, to hire workforce from the rest of the world. So there's a uh, connection to our, our Danish partners where we can uh, contact the uh, new to Denmark and from there you can uh, reach uh, workforce from the rest of the world and we have a lot, uh, quite a lot in, uh, from Canada and uh, in the mining business right now in Ganaftus Rocket so in, at the Hudson Company. So this short uh, story about uh, workforce in Greenland and I hope that you will use the local workforce in your company in the future. And this is uh, like Peter told you the same email addresses and thank you for my part. Yes, hello everybody, I'm Hansen um, general manager of this very fine school. It's, uh, I think a very good picture, it's showing uh, almost like a postcard. Uh, we are attached to certain organizations to make sure that uh, we are doing things by a good standard and a best practice. Um, but it has been a long journey. We started in 2008 with one excavator, one escadrille, a couple of jack legs and a compressor. 
200 uh, square meters for uh, workshop, so it was very small. It takes time to build an institution. <clears throat> we are part of a larger family called Tech College Greenland. That means that we have the uh, gymnasium, it's like high school. Uh, we have uh, construction, we have uh, the middle school in Luke is part of that organization. Uh, and we have language courses, so um, of course a lot of those trades will get involved in the mining industry. But we specific uh, uh, concentrate on the actual mining process. Our mission is to educate and prepare Greenlanders for work in the construction and mining industry for the future of Greenland. <coughs> so we started out um, in 2008, first couple of years, very slow, a lack of equipment, a lack of expertise. Uh, so I traveled around the world to get uh, help from outside. We got help from NORCAT here in Ontario, Coral School of Mines, and uh, some Norwegian institutions. So I say that the breaking point for us was 2010 when we got our own building and we got a grant from government to buy some equipment. Um, the next milestone was in 2012 where we developed a apprenticeship program in Greenland. And it's very similar to the Norwegian model of educating people uh, on that level. So they're spending two years in the school and then they have to go to a company for two years and then back for the final test. Um, we do have some collaboration with Lunabot. Um, Arctic College have been approaching us and also government of Nunavut. So we have had uh, students from, from Nunavut going to Greenland for training and then coming back and working in, in Nunavut. Um, it was a very good experience for us to get you know people from other countries coming in. Uh, so really uh, are very dependent on having international uh, collaborations with different institutions. We have a very large, uh, we think it's large, um, uh, training area in Sicilia. We have kind of our own small mountain. Um, we are a very practical school. It's a lot of hands-on training for Greenlanders before going into to the mining industry. So current uh, journeyman certificates, uh, they will have the first year, it's common, and then on the second year they will divide how to be, I want to be a skilled miner or going into contracting. Um, they have to be 16 for getting into this program, because no companies will take anybody under 18, so we have to make sure that they have driver's license, shot fire certificates, uh, so we get for, for uh, operating heavy machinery. So everybody will be 18 before going out to the companies. We are quite happy about all the grants we got from government. It's a very expensive area to operate. Uh, it takes a lot of heavy equipment. Uh, it has been built up slowly since 2010. But I think right now we are uh, very well equipped for training Greenlanders before going out to the companies. Um, of course, you are never done buying new equipment. You also have you know, development of new equipment all the time. Uh, especially within the mining industry, there are you know, new technologies coming in, so we try to, to be um, <coughs> Well, we try to make applications to government that we really need this equipment, it's essential for us. We continue to develop uh, training programs. Um, I was quite surprised that, that uh, all the different areas that actually are involved within the mining industry. Um, the latest thing is uh, the drone technology is uh, expanding. So uh, that's also an area that we try to develop uh, at the school. <clears throat> Talking about uh, heavy, heavy machine operators, we are attached to the Norwegian system of certification. That means that we are under audit. Um, I don't say it's the best operators to get, but I will claim that it's the safest operator. 
because we are under uh, this Norwegian certification. <coughs> we have um, we can't bring in all the really big heavy uh, equipment. We're not allowed to drive on public roads with that. So we took it to the limit, so uh, the weight of all our equipment is what we are allowed to use on, on the public road to get it down to our train. <clears throat> if you are to uh, be a certified shot fire within city limits, you have to go to our school to get your certificate. Um, that is two weeks training, and then you have to go together with a skilled blaster and document that before you can go to government and have your personal uh, shot fire license to blast within the city limits in the winter. <clears throat> we also do blast hole drill operators. That is uh, three weeks of training. And um, we also have some, some airport projects coming on the Greenland, so we need a lot of people that are skilled within drilling uh, and blast. We asked um, about on the edge to, uh, to have this course about 3D blast modeling ready. So now uh, local companies can come to us and learn you know, the new technology. Uh, also vibration measurement is something that, that we are uh, about to pronounce. Um, within city limits, they're getting more and more strict regulations towards blasting, uh, so we don't damage you know, other constructions. So uh, all that, you can come to us and uh, learn how to operate the equipment. We have a diamond quartering program, six weeks of training. Uh, we have two uh, drill weeks. And we just started this year, uh, no, it was last year, 19 now. Stone crushing and screening. Uh, that was quite a investment for you know, having our own equipment. But it took down some of the expenses that for, you know, we have a lot of road building to, together with our students, so now we can produce all the materials ourselves. And we do have bricking and lifting. That was actually an uh, offshore course that we converted to the mining uh, industry, because you need the same skills if you are doing that kind of work. So that was just a short input about, you know, what we are doing. Uh, Train Greenlanders going into this industry. Thank you.